taken from the Ultimate Killer Collection, by Stuart Dandel. Michael and Suzanne Carson The San Francisco Witch Killers James Clifford Carson was born in 1950, and little is known about his background, so it would be reasonable to assume it was rather uneventful. By the year of 1980, James Carson was married and living with his wife and child in Phoenix, Arizona. Around this time his wife began to notice severe behavioral changes and left with her daughter. Unperturbed, Carson began a relationship with Suzanne Barnes, who had two teenage sons and had recently been divorced. Suzanne was born in 1941 and was older than Carson by nine years. This was a little unusual at the time. The couple however, were inseparable and soon married, eventually becoming involved in drugs and mysticism. At this juncture, James Carson took on the name of Michael Bear, telling his daughter in a letter that God had given him his new name. Suzanne his doting wife, took on the name also and was known as Suzanne Bear. The couple were known to the community around them as the Bears. In 1979, Michael and Suzanne went traveling to Europe. Not a lot is known about their time there and they came back shortly after, though it should be noted that there are many suspicions about their activities during this time. By 1980 the couple had returned to the United States and were living officially as Michael and Suzanne Bear, in the Haight-Ashbury area of San Francisco. Here they continued their involvement with drugs and the counterculture movement, a popular life choice at the time, especially in California. It should be noted that at this time, Michael Bear Carson's former wife, had become afraid that he would try to harm her and abduct or deceptively gain custody of their child. This was due to his increasingly erratic and aggressive behavior. Fearing for their safety, she took several steps to hide herself and her daughter from him. This included moving several times and cutting off contact with mutual acquaintances. In hindsight, she was right to do so. In March of 1981, 22-year-old Karen Barnes, a young aspiring actress from Georgia who had been the Carson's roommate in Haight-Ashbury, was found dead in their shared apartment. Her skull had been smashed in and she had been stabbed repeatedly, before her body was wrapped in a blanket and hidden in the basement. In total, she had been stabbed 13 times. According to the police, Forensic evidence suggested that Karen Barnes had been killed by someone she knew, and the Carsons were immediately considered prime suspects. Unfortunately for law enforcement, the couple had taken off before the body had been found. Later, the Carsons would confess to killing Karen Barnes by beating her on the head with a frying pan and stabbing her. What was their motive? It was because Suzanne Carson had decided she was a witch and had to be killed. The Carsons then fled to a mountain retreat near Grants Pass, Oregon. Here they remained until spring of 1982. They then moved on to Alder Point, California, where they found work and accommodation on a marijuana farm as caretakers and guards. According to their fellow workers on the farm, the Carsons were anarchists who advocated revolution and predicted that an apocalypse or nuclear war would soon occur. This was a common theme amongst the counterculture movement at the time, much as it is now. In May of 1982, things would come to a head once again. The Carsons had an ongoing dispute with another worker on the farm, Clark Stevens. Rather than settle the dispute amicably, Michael Bear Carson killed Stevens by shooting him, after which the Carsons attempted to dispose of Stevens' body by dumping it in the woods setting fire to it, and then burying it under chicken fertilizer. The couple then left the area rapidly. A fortnight later, some friends of Stevens reported his disappearance to the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office, who immediately investigated and found Stevens' driving license and burned remains in the woods. They now felt they were looking for a murderer. The Carsons, who were still known as the Bears at this point, were now prime suspects in the case due to their dispute with Stevens. Upon searching through belongings that the couple had left behind, investigators found an anti-government manifesto written by them, 
that called for the assassination of then-President Ronald Reagan. This was the type of statement that the government took very seriously. The problem for detectives was tracking down the Carsons. This was due to the fact that over the years, they had avoided all possible interactions with government authorities that could be used to locate them later. They didn't have driving licenses for example. In November of 1982, by a stroke of luck, Michael Bear Carson was picked up by police in Los Angeles after being reported by an old acquaintance, who saw him hitchhiking and knew he was wanted for murder in Humboldt County. Not so lucky however, was that through a police error, Carson was quickly freed and disappeared again before Humboldt County detectives had a chance to question him. He did leave some evidence behind though, including the recent mugshot authorities took, up-to-date address information, and a gun that he had left in a police car. Police also now realized, that Michael and Suzanne Bear were actually the Carsons. In March of 1983, the Carsons were hitchhiking near Bakersfield, California, and were given a ride by 30-year-old John Charles Hellier, who was driving to Santa Rosa. Suzanne Bear Carson reportedly decided during the journey, that Hellier was a witch and must be killed. It has been speculated that she likely had a paranoid mental condition. While Hellier was driving on U.S. Route 101, near Santa Rosa in Sonoma County, an argument and physical fight broke out between Hellier and the Carsons. This resulted in the car coming to a stop and all three exiting the vehicle, with Suzanne Carson stabbing Hellier while he and Michael Bear Carson struggled over a gun. The charitable Hellier who had offered the couple a lift, didn't stand a chance. Michael Bear Carson got control of the gun and shot Hellier dead at point-blank range. This would be a grave error however, as they were on the side of a busy road in plain view of passing motorists, one of whom contacted police. A high-speed chase ensued and the Carsons attempted to flee police in Hellier's car. It wouldn't last long however, and the murderous couple were both apprehended. In a strange and rather unprecedented move, the Carsons initially called a press conference to confess to the murders of Hellier, Stevens, and Karen Barnes. Before the trial they withdrew their confessions and entered pleas of not guilty. On the 12th of June, 1984, the Carsons were convicted first of Barnes' murder and sentenced to serve 25 years each, in prison. Later, they were also convicted of the murders of Stevens and Hellier, for which they received sentences of 50 years to life for Suzanne, and 75 years to life for James. In 1989, the First District Court of Appeal, confirmed their third conviction as it had previously done on the other two convictions. James Carson is currently incarcerated at Mule Creek State Prison and Suzanne Carson is incarcerated at Central California Women's Facility. In a five-hour interview the Carsons claim to have been pacifists and vegetarian yoga practitioners, who converted to a form of Islam. They went on to describe themselves as vegetarian Muslim warriors. They say their crimes emerged from a shared mission to exterminate individuals they believed to be witches. The media proclaimed them the San Francisco witch killers. The couple later said that they killed Barnes because they believed she had made a false conversion to their religion, and was draining Miss Carson of her health and yajic powers. Their other justifications for the second and third killings were equally bizarre. They said that Stevens had allegedly sexually attacked Suzanne, and that Hellier had allegedly called her a witch and sexually abused her. Since their convictions the couple have shown no remorse for their crimes. Michael and Suzanne Carson are suspects in nearly a dozen other deaths in the US and Europe.